I know I get it enough already with the ROIs. I got a whole in-depth video out there if you have already watched it. Um, I talk all about ROIs because I see this as one of the biggest struggles for people that are trying to hook their MLM2 Pro up to the GS Pro using Springbox Connector. The tool is amazing, but we've got to have things set up right. And I think one of the biggest things we're missing when we set up these ROIs is screen resolution. And what I mean by that is what resolution is the monitor that your screen mirroring app is, you know, on? Is it 1080p? Is it 1440? Does that make a difference? And what size is the window of your screen mirroring app? And last, does your screen mirroring app allow different resolutions to be sent to the computer? All of these matter when we talk about the ROIs. Let's jump in and take a look. Okay, I've got the connector open. I've got my wrap Soto open. I've hit a shot. Um, so the ROIs are showing up on the bottom there. Now we can see if we go up to our device and we select our ROIs to verify that when I zoom in and I've got what I would call this window in a half screen mode, half screen being if I go up top, there's half. If I go over to this right one, there's one third. I'm gonna talk about half. I'm gonna talk about one third. I'm gonna talk about full screen. So right now I've got it in half screen thinking I'm gonna put my connector on one half of the screen and I'm gonna put my device on the other half of the screen, okay? So that's this is a half screen mode for reference later. When I zoom in on the ROIs, that's, my, that's what we're getting. 99 is what that's supposed to be, but does the screen OCR, the screen recognition tool, does it read that? Does it read 88, 99, 991? I think that's, you know, it's, it's a tough call and there's, I'm not you know, really surprised that we're getting misreads here. Um, if I verify, it may pick it up, 99, it did. Um, 22.0, that's supposed to be 22.9. Invalid value on the launch angle. So we could have guys out there and gals that are frustrated with their ROIs. You know, this connector, why isn't it working? Um, we can only do so much. So let me show you something. I set up, I took the time to set up before the video here, another set of ROIs in this second slot. And I'm gonna select that. And what you'll notice right away is that my Rapsodo window is now full screen because in this version of my ROIs, I made the Rapsodo full screen. So let's tab back over and let's, let's, let's take a look at what those look like when we zoom in. Now, when I zoom in on these, much clearer. Look at that 99. So 77. 22 by 9. Now let's do a verify. I'm getting data. 99. The spin is correct. 4.2 launch. 2.2 launch direction. 22.9. 77. Everything checks out. If I do this same exact thing where I have my window half size and we go verify the ROIs on that. And verify. I no longer get correct values. 99, the spin is wrong. Spin axis, 42 instead of 4.2. And invalid data on the launch angle, it's reading it likely as something around, the, you know, the 220 mark. Okay. So what we need to do is get that size set correctly, right? We need to go into our ROI screens. And for this one, which I've set to be small, this is a half screen device. I've had people say, well, I can't drag this any bigger. It just keeps snapping itself back smaller. The program is set to do that. When you are connected, when you have the this connected to GS Pro, the window's not gonna allow you to resize it unless you're in configuring your ROI. So if I go in there, click on ROIs, open it up, and now I make this window full screen. We'll go back to the ROIs. And after it's full screen, with the ROI window open, I hit reset. And it'll tell you here, this is going to clear the settings. Adjust your mirror window to the desired size. And then select your new ROIs. I'm going to say yes. And you're going to all pretend that I just selected ROIs here. And I'm going to click save. And it says... Your device ROIs are updated. I'm going to close out. 
Now you'll notice I can drag this window whatever size I want now. I can make it small. But as soon as I select it, because I saved them, bam, it's the right size. Now you're going to get proper readings. To close this video out, I want to show you there's one other thing, and that is your screen resolution. I'm not going to go super in-depth to it, but if you go to your display settings and you go down to your monitor, and I, I have all my monitors in 1920 by 1080, so 1080p. I was curious, does 1440 give us a better read on the ROIs? So I'll, I'll reduce to 1440. If you'll notice, I can now make this window bigger because I'm in 1440. So rather than go through the whole exercise, what I to show you, because I think you understand the concept at this point, um, I took screenshots and put this photo together. And what you'll see in this photo is, I'm going to back myself out of the picture so you can see it better, is that on the left, we've got 1080 resolution. On the right, we've got 1440. The three sections are when you have that window at one third of the screen. That was when I, I showed you all one third of the screen is being like this, one half of the screen being here, and then full screen being the entire screen. Let's go back there. So on the left-hand side, we've got 1080. On the right-hand side, we've got 1440. What I did figure out is the higher the resolution of your screen, the better your ROIs are. At 1440, they read cleaner to me than they do at 1080. Um, you can also see at one third of the, of the window screen and 1080, you're not gonna get good ROI readings off range mode. At one half the screen at 1080, you're pushing it. If you full screen at 1080, I think you're gonna get good readings. Those numbers look good to me. If you look on the right side, I feel good about half screen at 1440. Full screen is great. I had a third screen is, is okay. It's as good as 1080 half screen, but the, I guess the entire point of this of this exercise is make your window sizes as big as you can. Make your resolution of the screen holding your screen mirroring app as large as you can. And the last thing that I would quickly show you before I log out here um, and we close this session out is on my Samsung Flow app, there is a section for resolution. There's also... And I choose high. There's also when you start a range session. I don't think mid session you can do it. But when you start a range session, there's the choice to do low or high graphics. I have not tested whether the ROI numbers are necessarily lower in quality on the low graphics or if that's just applied, you know, to the range itself. That's right here. This settings graphics quality but I got to assume high graphics is going to be better than low. All right. Another ROI video. Sorry to belabor you guys with this. I hope it helps. I got this hunch and this feeling that there are people out there struggling with the MLM two pro and the GS pro. And they're saying, you know, I only have a few misreads and with a simple change of something like this, you can eliminate all those misreads altogether. All right. That's today's video. Like comment, Thank you, everybody who subscribed. Just getting this channel going. I really appreciate it. I've got a couple in-depth videos coming out uh, that are taking me a little bit more time to think about and put together. And some of that has to do with my enclosure, my sim setup, my flooring. Um, I want to get into some of the things that guys have been asking about in the, in the comments section. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.